Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. We are back with some really great ideas for getting the whole family involved in some cooking fun. And this time we're talking about a smoothie. We're talking to Karen Leonetti, and you actually have written a whole book about doing this. Mm -hmm. Who is our handsome chef today? Aubrey. Aubrey, how old are you? Nine. Nine years old. So if a nine-year-old can do this, surely I can make this smoothie mm -hmm. too, right? Share your secrets with me. Super easy. Yeah? All right. So Karen, walk us through what this is going to be because, you know, green swamp monster yes. smoothie sounds yeah. delightful. Well, the best thing is just to get your bananas and put them in the freezer. Peel them, put them in the freezer in a you know, single layer, and then they freeze. You just pull them out in the morning, wash your kale, put them in a baggie, put it in the freezer. We have it all, you know, with so portion. Really cold ingredients is a key? Yeah, because then you don't have to put in ice. I like that. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. start making this sure. monster, huh? Yeah. So we'll start with water. We've already pre measured all of this, so it makes it we easy have. for us, right? Okay, we you sure can you have. hand me the empties? I'll move them out of the way. Yeah. Next, what's in how, the next ingredient? How about coconut oil? Why coconut oil? Well, anytime you use a green, you want to put some oil in because if you don't put oil in when you're using greens, mm -hmm. your body can't uptake the calcium. So this is actually making the smoothie be able to really benefit us best. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. I'll be your sous chef today. Now, how all about right. some chia seeds? You see the se the chia seeds there? Do you have all of them? In? Sure. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And chia seeds for people who are learning about these new ingredients that are really becoming in mm. vogue and very good for us. You want to put the kale in next? What are we adding next? Hey, go ahead and let's break up this uh, banana. And that's really serving as banana and ice cubes for us, which is great. It sure is. All right. Let's put some blueberries in. All Shall right. we do that? I love blueberries. Great. Those are a great antioxidant. Yeah. I know they're good for us. Great brain food. All right. Yes, absolutely. Okay. It's turning green and then some. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to tell you this recipe is easy to get. All you have to do is go to our website, WLOS.com, click on the Carolina Kitchen link. We'll get you all set that way. And, of course, we're also sharing our recipes on Pinterest these days. So head over to our Pinterest page and pin this recipe. And when all is said and done, look at this beautiful green, the Swamp Monster Smoothie. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Lots and lots of nutrients. And, and Aubrey, are you willing to give it a try? Want to taste it? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to give it a taste here. We have an extra one made up, so I'm going to pour you a little bit. There you go, my friend. Give it a taste and see what you think. I'm going to taste this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that tastes really good. And you can Yum. go heavier in the banana when you're first starting and there then gradually add more kale. Well, that's what's cooking in the Carolina kitchen. Delicious, right? Mm-hmm.